My dear brothers and sisters, in the name of Risen Jesus, greetings to you in the name of Mother Mary. Indeed, it's a joyous month for all of us, especially as this month is dedicated to Mother Mary. And before that, I wish you all happy feast of St. Joseph, the one of welcome. Yes, my dear friends, when we reflect upon Mary, upon the life of Mary, and many things come to our mind. Yes, and especially as this month is dedicated to the Rosary, as we recite the Rosary, as we meditate upon the mysteries, on the decades. Yes, and Church invites each and every one of us, especially our Pope Francis, invites each and every one to recite rosary at the times of danger, at the time of conflicts, troubles, trials, atrocities, and persecutions, especially at the crisis period now what we are facing, Corona, COVID-19 pandemic, yes. Yes, Mother Mary's intercession is very much necessary today, especially upon the humanity. Yes, now let us reflect upon the first decade of joyful mysteries, the Annunciation. Yes, here the Gabriel angel brings good news to Mother Mary. Yes, and she was a, she was a virgin. She was a girl, and moreover, she was a poor, good human being. Yes, my dear friends, at this time, when she hears the news, she was troubled, she was troubled in spirit, and she was astonished. What is this? I don't have any relationship with any man on this earth. And yet, I received this message, this good news. Yes. And this message brings hope or change in the human history. Yes, there is, there is a lot of change in the historical moment. Yes, my dear friends, here we should observe one thing. When the angel Gabriel comes here, he bends down, he bows before Mary and greets her. Hail full of grace. Yes. What do you mean by this? Why should the angel Gabriel should bow before Mother Mary? Especially when we look into the early circumstances, especially in the Old Testament, when the angel appeared to Abraham, he never bowed down to him. And many other persons in the human history, no, he never. But here, in the case of Mary, he bowed down to Mother Mary and greeted her, hail full of grace. Yes. The, especially when we look, look at the kneeling of angel, this posture signifies that Mary is a great unique being among all the creatures. And moreover, and she is a, the only unique being and through her whom a Savior will be born. A Savior will be born, that is Jesus will be born and he will become the Savior of the whole world. As Prophet Simeon said, as he prophesied, this child will be cause for the rise and fall of the Israelites. Yes, my dear friends, and today we are most fortunate people to have Mother Mary as a blessed mother, as a heavenly mother, as a spiritual mother. Yes, indeed, as angel respected her, venerated her in the same way, today we need to venerate her, respect her through, through the recitation of rosary. Yes, are we respected the rosary? Are we respected the devotion to Mother Mary? Many times not. Yes, and today, especially this month of May, is dedicated to Mother Mary, month of rosary. Yes, let us recite the rosary. Let us recite.
recite the rosary to the problems of the world, especially let, let us surrender all the sick people, all the infected people due to this deadly virus, Corona, COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, and it is Mother Mary who will never abandon us because she is the mother of Jesus. She is the mother of God. She will never abandon us at any time, at any critical situation. Yes, and secondly, here we should observe one thing, the Gabriel angel, he never pronounces our name, Mary. Only the church later on adds the name, Hail Mary, full of grace. Yes, we see there's a lot of speciality in, in, in the name itself, especially when we Get into the case of Jacob. Jacob means deceiver. Who is called deceiver? Yes, he deceived his brother Esau, his and his mother, and his mother helped him to deceive his brother, and he became one with his brother after the consolation. Yes, in the same way, every name signifies something. The character of the person, the living of the person, the being of the person, and destiny of the person. In the same way, the name of Mother Mary has is signified that she is the new Ark of the Covenant. She is the new Ark of the Covenant. That is, in the Old Testament, people used to, Israelites used to adore, adore the Ark of the Covenant because it was holy, it was pure, and the, all the old and command the Old and Commandments, Manna and Haran's robe. It had preserved and it was not touched by anybody, any sinful people. In the same way, here Mother Mary becomes a, the new Ark of the Covenant. That is, in her home, she, she bears the lawgiver, that is, Jesus himself. And she only, not only that, she bears the bread of life because it is the Jesus who came here as a life for many, to give life for the people, to the whole world. And Jesus as a high priest. Yes. And moreover, your mother Mary are considered to be uh, reserved to be virgin. Yes, and she was not touched by any human ear on her. It is completely divine intervention, Holy Spirit overshadowing upon Mary, and she gives birth to Jesus. Yes, and it is finally, it is divine will, it is God's will, and through her, and especially through her son, the whole salvation, redemption of the world should be completed. Yes, my dear friends, in this way, today we are indeed happy to have our mother, blessed mother, as mother of God, as a heavenly mother, as a spiritual mother. So let us venerate her, let us respect her, and let us do the recitation of the rosary. And through the recitation, all the evils, dangers, problems, trials, tribulation, especially this deadly coronavirus of this present world, may vanish away immediately from this world. Yes, so I am happy to be here to introduce this month of rosary to you and please recite this rosary prayerfully and spiritually and let our mother be with us all the time. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, in the name of risen Jesus, greetings to you in the name of Mother Mary. Indeed, it is a joyous month for all of us, especially as this month is dedicated to Mother Mary. And before that, I wish you all happy feast of St. Joseph, the wonder worker. Yes, my dear friends, when we reflect upon Mary, upon the life of Mary, and many things come to our minds. Yes. And especially as this month is dedicated to the rosary, as we recite the rosary, as we meditate upon the mysteries on the decades, yes. And the church invites each and every one of us, as 
especially uh, Pope Francis invites each and everyone to recite rosary at the times of danger, at the time of conflicts, troubles, trials, atrocities, and persecutions, especially at the crisis period now what we are facing, Corona, COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, yes, Mother Mary's intercession is very much necessary today, especially upon the humanity. Yes, now let us reflect upon the first decade of joyful mysteries, the Annunciation. Yes, here the Gabriel angel brings good news to Mother Mary. Yes, and she also she was a virgin, she was a girl, and moreover, she was a poor, good human being. Yes, my dear friends, at this time, when she hears the news, she was troubled, she was troubled in spirit, and she was astonished. What is this? I don't have any relationship with any man on this earth. And yet, I received this message, this good news. Yes, and this message brings hope or change in the human history. Yes, there is, there is a lot of change in the historical moment. Yes, my dear friends, here we should observe one thing. When the angel Gabriel comes here, he bends down, he bows before Mary and greets her. Hail full of grace. Yes, what do you mean by this? Why should the angel Gabriel should bow before Mother Mary? Especially when we look into the early circumstances, especially in the Old Testament, when the angel appeared to Abraham, he never bowed down to him. And many other persons in the human history, no, he never. But here, in the case of Mary, he bowed down to Mother Mary. And greeted her, hail full of grace. Yes. So especially when we look, look at the kneeling of angel, this posture signifies that Mary is a great unique being among all the creatures. And moreover, and she is a, the only unique being, and through her whom a Savior will be born. A Savior will be born, that is Jesus will be born and He will become the Savior of the whole world. As Prophet Simeon said, as he prophesied, this child will be cause for the rise and fall of the Israelites. Yes, my dear friends, and today we are most fortunate people to have Mother Mary as a blessed mother. As a heavenly mother, as a spiritual mother. Yes, indeed. As angel respected her, venerated her in the same way today, we need to venerate her, respect her through, through the recitation of rosary. Yes, are we respected the rosary? Are we respected the devotion to Mother Mary? Many times not. Yes, and today, especially this month of May, is dedicated to Mother Mary, month of Rosary. Yes, let us recite the Rosary. Let us recite the Rosary to the problems of the world. Especially, let, let us surrender all the sick people, all the infected people due to this deadly virus, Corona, COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, and it is Mother Mary who will never abandon us because she is the mother of Jesus. She is the mother of God. She will never abandon us at any time, at any critical situation. Yes. And secondly, here we should observe one thing. The Gabriel angel, he never pronounces our name, Mary. Only the church later on adds the name Hail Mary full of grace. Yes. We see there's a lot of speciality in, in, in the name itself. Especially when we get into the case of Jacob. Jacob means 
deceiver one who is called deceiver yes he deceived his brother esau is and his mother and he, his mother helped him to deceive his brother and he became one with his brother after the consolation yes in the same way every name signifies something the character of the person the living of the person the being of the person and destiny of the person in the same way the name of mother mary as yes, is signified that she is the new ark of the covenant she is new ark of the covenant that is in the whole testament people used to israel is used to adore that of the ark of the covenant because it was holy it was pure and the all the old ten command the old ten commandments manna and hares wrote it had preserved and it was not touched by anybody any sinful people in the same way here mother mary becomes a, the new ark of the covenant that is in her womb she she bears the law giver that is jesus himself and she only, not only that she bears the bread of life because it is the jesus who came here as a life for many to give life for the people to the whole world and jesus as a high priest yes and moreover your mother mary are considered to be a uh, preserved to be virgin yes and she was not touched by any human ear on her it is completely divine intervention holy spirit overshadowing upon mary and she gives birth to jesus yes and it is finally it is divine will it's god's will and through her and especially through her son the whole salvation redemption of the world should be completed as my friends in this way today we are indeed happy to have our mother blessed mother as mother of god as a heavenly mother as a spiritual mother so let us venerate her let us respect her and let us do the recitation of the rosary and through the recitation all the evils dangers problems trials tribulation especially this deadly corona virus of this present world may vanish away immediately from this world yes so i am happy to be here to introduce this month of rosary to you and please recite this rosary prayerfully and spiritually and let our mother be with us all the